YouTube. What's good? It's your boy. It's been a while since I've done a new pickup video. I uh, just got this in today. Uh, you see the box. You got the LeBron 8 post seasons. And, um, you know, first thing I want to say is, got these off of Nike.com. I never usually complain about the box. You don't wear the box, but I got to say something because Nike, I mean, y'all, y'all didn't come correct with me, man. This is how the box came. You know what I'm saying? Somebody on Twitter said it looks like like they were playing volleyball with the box. You know what I'm saying? It's in bad shape. I, I can't front. I mean it's it's pretty bad. And you know, like I said, you can't you can't wear the box, but you know, I still stack my boxes. I like them, you know, to look clean, but you know what I'm saying? That's what that is. I mean, but again, it's all about the shoe, not the box. Uh, but to get into the box real quick, as you can see, totally different than it is on the version 1 and version 2 boxes. You got LeBron's head on there only. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you can see the metallic silver, white, cool, gray, electric, green. I mean, y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? A.K.A. the Dunk Man. But before I show you the shoe... I see the tissue paper a little bit different as well. Many reviews have been done on the shoe, so I don't have to get into too much detail. But here they are. I mean, a lot of people passed up on the shoe. I think it's an incredible looking shoe, personally. I mean, you know, it took me a while to go ahead and pull the trigger on them. Well, it wasn't my top choice. I mean, but for what I was looking for for the summer, I needed something bright, loud. I mean, I couldn't go, can't go wrong with these. Got the metallic silver upper and the hyperfuse. Got the 180 Air Max unit and that electric green, electric green outsole with the gray hit and the white. Then you got the Zoom Air unit in the forefoot. Got the carbon fiber plate there, electric green check, Dunk Man logo on the heel, white check with the cool gray outline in there, neon laces. Electric green tongue with the gray eyes on the lion head. A little bit different. You know what I mean? It's not like the version one or the version two where it's screen printed or you know embossed. It's basically like an imprint. Or I guess the opposite of an imprint. And then you got the um electric green insole. Looks like a little bit less cushioning than both the version one and version two. Lighter, definitely a lighter shoe with the hyperfuse technology there. And then you got LeBron there, and a lot of the other one says James. I mean, but like I said, here you have it, y'all. Again, a hot shoe. The box. I mean, Nike, y'all could have did me a little bit better than that. But hey, when we start wearing boxes is when I'll go ahead and start really complaining. But uh, again, as always, I appreciate the love. You know, I know I've been lagging on my Sunday sneaker talks. Haven't hit y'all with that in a while. Kid actually works on Sundays now. And, uh, you know, like I said, man, just really haven't had the motivation to do it. I mean, nothing against, you know what I'm saying, the sneaker game. Nothing against my peoples. It's just, you know what I'm saying, I'm on a whole nother format. Got Royal Movement popping off. I mean, if y'all want to get up a t-shirt, again, t-shirts, $20, 25 shipped, actually. So get at me. Uh, send me a message. Leave me a comment. You know what I'm saying? We'll work out the details. But, uh, again, I appreciate the love and support. King's Crew, shouts out to y'all. Shouts out to all my homies, Twitter, fam, everybody. Um, till the next time, happy collecting and be easy. Peace.